Hi, my name is Logan with Flymotion. Today we're going to be going through some of the similarities and differences between the Autel Evo 2 Dual and DJI's Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. So at the Autel Evo 2 Dual, you're going to get a 640x512 thermal, which is going to be exactly the same specifications as the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. They're both going to be the high resolution 640x512. They're also both going to have a 30 hertz refresh rate on those sensors. However, there's going to be a slight difference in the thermal zoom. So with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, one of the main differences there is going to be that you're going to get a 16 times digital zoom in the thermal, whereas with the Autel, you're only going to get an 8 times digital zoom. So that is a slight difference between the two of those, but with that 640x512 high resolution thermal on each of them, they're going to be a very, very similar picture when you look at the differences. So when it comes to the visual light camera, there are some key differences. So we're gonna go through the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance first. One of the benefits of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance is you're gonna get a 32 times digital zoom. The other thing there is that you're actually gonna have a larger field of view. So you're gonna have an 84 degree field of view with a Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance and you're gonna get 4K UHD resolution. So in comparison, the Auto Evo 2 Dual is actually going to be shooting an 8K for your visible light camera. So comparatively to the 4K, it's going to be a higher resolution on that. You're going to get a slightly smaller field of view with only 74 degree field of view and only an 8 times digital zoom when it comes to the visible light sensor here. So with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance from DJI, you're going to get a little bit shorter flight time than you will with the Autel. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance is going to have approximately a 30 to 31 minute flight time, whereas the Autel Evo 2 Dual is going to get approximately a 38 minute flight time. So you're going to get a little bit longer out of this drone. So with the Advance, there is going to be a key feature that is different between the two of these platforms. You're going to have a self-heating intelligent flight battery in here that's going to allow you to fly in a little bit colder conditions. Currently, the Autel is not equipped with that. They are working on that for future platforms, but it has not come to fruition just yet. So now we come to the controllers. With DJI's platform, the Enterprise Advance is going to come with a smart controller. That's actually going to be the only option for the Enterprise Advance, whereas the previous Enterprise versions, you were able to fly with the regular controller, the non-smart controller, or the smart controller option. This is going to have a built-in five and a half inch display, it gets very bright. You're able to see that very well, even in direct sunlight. We do have the Autel controller, which has a small built-in display, but it is recommended that you do use a tablet or a phone to get a larger display so you're able to actually use the full functionality of the device. So at DJI, you will have the three intelligent flight modes, which is going to be your tripod, your portrait, and your sport mode. In comparison, with Autel, you're going to get about eight different intelligent flight modes that are going to allow you to orbit, that will allow for some dynamic tracking and some other capabilities there. So it definitely has a lot of options when it comes to the Autel. So as you can see, I've equipped each of these with one of the payload options that's available. On the Autel, you're going to have a saddle type mechanism that actually just goes right into place behind the front propellers. It's going to snap in and you can manipulate these lights here. These are from Fox Fury. They're very bright, a high lumen count, and you're able to see very clearly with those lights. And when it comes to DJI, there are three separate options that it comes with in the Enterprise model. It's going to come with the spotlight, it'll come with the speaker, and a beacon as well. It's very simple to switch these out in a moment's notice. They just have some quick turn screws here. You're able to simply lift that off the platform and switch that out to the next one, tighten the screws down, and you're ready to go. So both of these platforms come with a Pelican style hard shell case. The Autel Evo 2 Dual comes as what's called a rugged bundle. The rugged bundle includes two extra batteries, additional propellers, and the connectors for different types of devices that you may want to connect to the remote. It also comes with a charging hub to be able to connect to all four batteries at once. And with the DJI platform, it's only going to come with one battery, so you're going to need what's called the DJI Enterprise Flymore Kit. The Flymore Kit's going to give you those two extra batteries, additional propellers, and the connective wires in case you want to use an external display in addition to the smart controller. So now it comes down to pricing. Which is going to be the best option for you? With the Autel, as we mentioned, it does come in a rugged bundle. You're looking right at a $10,000 price tag. In comparison with DJI's platform, without the Flymore Kit, you're going to look right around $6,200. When you include the Flymore Kit, you're looking right around $6,700. So it's going to be a slightly cheaper price tag here. So you just have to decide what the best option for you is. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful and informative to you. Be sure to check back as we continue to make more videos just like this.